What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you. In this week's review, I'll be taking a look at San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. This game was developed by Atari Games and published by Midway, with a North American release date of November 8th, 1997. San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing is an arcade-style racer where you can play in Quick Race, Circuit, or Practice. You get to choose from six different tracks and play against up to eight cars. Unlike the original arcade port of this game, the Nintendo 64 version has hidden paths on all six of the tracks. These various branching paths, such as the one that you can see me try right here, offers a lot of replayability. And sometimes it's kind of fun just to go into the practice mode and try to find all the different ways to get through the course. Each of the cars can be played using the automatic or manual transmission, depending on your personal preference. Now next, I'd like to touch on the music and sound effects for this game. San Francisco Rush has an absolutely great mix of rock music to really help keep you in the mood while you play the game. Honestly, I think the best part of the music and sound effects for this game is the announcer's voice. Whether it's when the races first start off, or when he says checkpoint, I just find it absolutely fantastic. I have no issues here. Now let's briefly touch on the controls. You can choose, as I said before, from automatic or manual, and there's one button for gas, one for e-brake, and one to change your viewpoint. Not a whole heck of a lot else here, so... Which is kind of nice. It allows for some ease of access. Now finally, to close out this review, let's answer the quintessential question. Is San Francisco Rush worth picking up and playing today? Well, honestly, with a price charting price of just over $14, I would say absolutely. There's far worse racing games on the console. And if you could find this game for, I would say, like less than 20 bucks in the wild, sure, go ahead and pick it up, pop it in, have a blast. It really has a great sense of speed in the game. Whether you're flying around, playing a single player, or if you're facing off against the computer in the circuit mode. It definitely helps convey that just overall sense of speed. Thanks for watching, and until next time.